Parker makes $364,000 in gold after getting rookie operator to move Slucifer. Parker, who had a lot of knowledge, kept showing off his accomplishments all these years not long ago. He did something even more amazing. He made $364,000 in gold by getting a new operator to move the Slucifer. The project already owed a huge $15 million and Parker didn't know how to get out of this mess. There were daily costs and pressing repairs that needed to be done. There was some hope in the idea of getting $60 million payday in the Dominion, but there were many unknowns along the way. It became clear when he admitted that the whole thing was making him feel pretty worried. He felt a little uneasy for the first time in a few years. He wasn't alone though, which was good his team would be there for him. No matter what to save the working bodies, Tyson had to take on everything. He got permission to use the mind from Ken Tatlow and Stuart Schmidt, and then began the impossible job of making the experience great again. No one expected the first cut to be so bad, and it took a lot longer than anyone thought it would. As soon as Parker realized how important the pressure was, Rose thought Tyson would be able to get up soon. The determination of Parker stayed strong, even though the work to prepare the new spot was hard. He went on to say that while he was getting a lardo ready, he thought he had a lot of time. But when he was getting the next plant pad ready, he realized he didn't. As Parker dealt with the problems at El Dorado, everyone was left wondering if his unwavering determination would help him get through the tough times and find the gold stores that could make his mining project a success. Parker and Tyson were both involved in the El Dorado. Moving the wash plant at the El Dorado cut was a huge task that turned some important events in Tyson's life. They had everything they needed except time, because the process had to be done by a certain date. The due date for this job was Sunday, and if it was completed successfully, it would be able to stay alive. The plot jumbled up money problems, practical issues, and the almost constant search for the jackpot at Dominion into a mess of problems that needed to be carefully handled. The financial situation added another level of difficulty to the story. The operation, which was already a financial puzzle, was done with the worry of possible bills and the costs of running the business. As I watch them, I can't help but wonder, will this smart move help them find the gold mines they were looking for, or will it be a big mistake on the crazy road of gold mining at some point in this nail-biting story? You couldn't help but wonder. Would Parker Schnell's huge risk pay off or would his growing financial responsibilities and practical problems make it impossible for him to reach his goal of finding a gold mine? Dominion is a world where gold rules and fortunes can change in an instant. Parker Snobble found himself in a very bad spot. Now is the time for the dream of the unreachable gold to change. Along with it came hard times financially so the business could stay open. The heat had almost made this area its home. It makes me wonder what it's like to be ruled over. The answer is as easy as the question, but it beautifully describes the harsh conditions these miners have to work in every day. The word Domian means sovereign, and the people who are looking for treasure buried in its land often tell it what its rules are. Another look at the area points to the harshness that is hidden by the light. Parker and his team's determination should definitely be praised. Recently, the weather has gone up, which has raised the bar for what is acceptable. This seemingly normal talk showed how hard these people's lives were. They had to work from dawn until dusk in the hot sun. The next step was to SLO there, but that wasn't official yet as the thought of starting the sling process said in there was a sense of excitement in the air after some time they said that sling wouldn't happen because they needed to get better at it first. Before moving the business, the team was eager to start sling, but first they had to make some strategic choices. There was a lot of in the gold mining business, because to who was making efforts to make things run more smoothly set a hard goal. As the order echoed through the mining site, the story unfolded quickly too wanted the plant to begin buzzing before morning. The attention then turned to Tyson, whose scary job 
it was to move Slur around on a pole that wasn't stable Tyson had to make up Slur out of a leaning stick he had lying around. The language used made it clear that the business was sloppy and rushed, even if no one knew how to make learning staff. Putting pressure on Tyson became an important part of the story, a major source of tension that gave the story more depth. To move this Lucifer, you had to have a steady hand and a lot of skills that you learned over time. Tyson had to deal with a lack of experienced hands while working on a tough job. Alec and Liam helped out the last time, and it looked like they were going to drag Lucifer while Evan Kurtz, who was just an operator and didn't know how to move a wash plant, moved Lucifer. The moving of the wash plant was complicated by the fact that parts had to be slung up to the slur and then pulled down to the new pad by the 750. The main reason it was hard to do was because changing wash plants was hard to do when there were already few hands available as Tyson and Evan took on the job of moving the pieces of Esselofer to its new location. The story took an interesting turn, it wasn't just a jump that was being planned, it was a symbolic risk in the dangerous world of gold mining. Once Lucifer was taken apart piece by piece, sharing could be seen as both a risky move and a game of chance. People who watched this story grow as a dynamic journey had to think about what would happen with the operation and the luck that was going on at the same time everything that was done in the world of gold mining had the power to change the whole course of the season, even a seemingly random jump. The 45-ton wash planter that held the promise of $364,000 in gold hung over their heads. Tyson and his team had to carefully move SLO so that the process would go as planned to get to its new wash plant pad. Slur had to go up a steep ramp, which was hard to do because of the environment. Tyson used the 750 excavator, which was the best one on site at the time, to help carry the heavy Lucifer up the hill because he knew.